What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick and easy tutorial detailing one way to make realistic vine details for your cosplay. This is of course not the only way to go about making vines, but it's what I did for my armored Venus Orgajinka. Let's get started. I start out with cotton welting cord. This is the material used inside of trims and pillows, and I got mine from Joanne. I cut the thread netting off of the welting cord to get started. Usually welting cord is white. I had dyed mine as I had a different plan to make these initially, so don't mind the color. With the thread netting removed and the cotton exposed, we're ready to start stiffening up the cord. I'm using standard Mod Podge, doesn't matter if it's gloss or matte. I saturated the cotton thoroughly by rubbing Mod Podge into it. As much as I love getting messy when making cosplay, this time I actually have solid reasoning for just using my hands. I want the Mod Podge to completely saturate the cotton, not just sit on the surface like if you were to use a brush. Once my Mod Podge has been applied, I then twist the cotton. This is the start of creating the shaping and texturing for a realistic vine look. After twisting, I put binder clips on both ends as well as spots that I want to hold a certain shape. For these vines, I want U-shaped sections. I clip the vines on my shelf to let them dry and leave them overnight, but they'd probably be dry within a few hours. I took my dried, shaped vines and then cut them into smaller sections. Now for paint. For these vines, I'm using Plaid FX paints. These paints are intended for use with cosplay as they're quite opaque and flexible, so they're perfect for stuff like EVA foam. I mix this green shade, Smashing, and this brown shade, Charred Root, to create a forest green kind of color. The mix is about 50-50 green and brown. This was my first time trying Plaid FX, and I can honestly say I'm obsessed with this paint. I then applied my mixed shade all over the vines, front first, and when that was dry, I did the back. As you can see, the paint isn't chipping or cracking at all when I move the vine around. This looks great, but I want to add some more realistic detailing by creating a moss look. To do this, I use the Painted Finishes Duo specifically designed to look like moss. First, I apply the dark moss shade. I like to open the bottle and make sure that I'm getting plenty of the little chunks of texture. I apply this in a way that aims to look natural with patches and small streaks here and there. Once the dark moss is dry, I go in with light moss. Again, making sure to have plenty of texture in the paint. I use the light moss much less, like a highlight on the dark moss patches. After drying, I sealed my work with this matte spray Mod Podge Ultra. You have to be careful to keep the stem and tip clean as it can clog up if you leave residue on it between uses. I then hang the vines to let them dry. And that's how I made my vine details for my Venusaur build. If you found this helpful, please leave a like down below as it helps me immensely in growing my channel. Just as well, I post all my work in progress shots over on Instagram, along with other quick cosplay tutorials and helpful tips. So follow me there if you'd like to see more. And remember to subscribe for more cosplay content in the future!